Hi, I'm Erin Hart, and today I want to share with you one of the most important things that you can do when you're starting Bright Line Eating. That is to create a plan for what you'll do when you make a mistake and mess up. <laughs> a lot of people are scared of committing to Bright Line Eating because living sugar and flour free, weighing your food and eating only at meal times can seem strict or restrictive. But I find it to be completely freeing and really flexible. I've been able to lose 125 pounds with Brightline Eating and have kept it off for a year. And while at first I had those same fears, I, found, I have found it to be a really incredibly healthy and sustainable lifestyle. I don't know about you, but I have a long history of all or nothing dieting before I found Brightline Eating. I did uh, calorie counting, Weight Watchers, Noom, Body for Life, and the list goes on and on and on. With these other programs, I would be really ready to change and committed and I would get all excited about starting a new program. And I would be really strict and stay on plan perfectly for a while. And then something would happen and I'd go off plan and I'd just get discouraged and completely give up the the what the hell effect, right? So I'd go back to eating the way that I did before and I'd gain back all of my weight and more. It was a vicious cycle. My, my weight kept compounding until I found myself at 284 pounds and that's when I found Bright Line Eating. My experience in Bright Line Eating has been totally different because I don't approach it as a diet but as a lifestyle. It's easy to get caught up into perfectionism with Bright Line Eating or with any program, but perfectionism will sabotage you. The all or nothing mentality is not gonna help you to have a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. I wanna be careful because I don't want you to think that I'm telling you to go off plan or to make exceptions with your program, and I'm definitely not telling you to get back into the flour and sugar. That is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> and there's a reason that some people struggle with Bright Line Eating. We have to be careful and not casual with our programs. Uh, it makes doing Bright Line Eating so much harder mentally when you're intermittently going off plan and halfway committed to it. It's not a good idea. Someone, someone gave me the advice when I started Bright Line Eating to follow the program as it's written without exceptions and to just go all in, trust the program. I'm so grateful that they gave me that advice because I found it to be true. That 100% is so much easier than 98%. It's not necessarily better, but it is easier mentally. There's a lot of peace that comes from completely surrendering to the program and just going for it. Swallowing your pride and just trusting the plan. JFTFP, right? <laughs> just follow the fabulous plan. But if you are expecting yourself to be perfect forever with Bright Line Eating and never struggle or make a mistake, you're going to be disappointed. Perfection is a myth. We will all make mistakes and we'll all mess up. The way that I approach my program is that I strive to stay on plan 100% of the time, but with the understanding <laughs> that I'm human and sometimes I fall short. That's where the self-compassion comes into play. We have to ditch the shame and guilt about not being perfect. It's not a healthy standard. You are inherently good, <laughs> not because of what you eat, but because you're a child of God and nothing can change the fact that you have worth. We, we aren't perfect. We all have weaknesses, but God can help us help our weaknesses to become our strengths. This is a process, we're learning and we're growing. It's all about progress and not perfection. So one of the things that you can do when you start a weight loss program like Bright Line Eating is to make a plan for what you'll do when you make a mistake and go off track. I encourage my clients in the beginning before they struggle at all to write down two things. First, uh, the steps that they'll take if they're tempted to go off plan to help them to avoid going off plan. And then secondly, the steps that they'll take to get right back on track if they do eat off their plan. This helps take off some of the pressure of the all or nothing mentality. It's not all or nothing. We, we have to expect that at one point we will struggle. The trick is to have a clear plan for immediate course corrections and 
getting right back on track quickly. Not waiting until Monday or the new year, some future date, but getting on track quickly. The next meal or for sure by the next day. One of the ways that I've overcome that all or nothing mentality is to have a rule for myself that uh, if I make a mistake and go off plan, I try to never have two meals off plan in a row. And that has helped me a lot. So when I start when I started Bright Line Eating, I had a long stretch of time without going off plan at all. I was really scared of making a mistake because of the years of struggle I've had in the past with yo-yo-yo dieting, and I didn't want this to be just one more diet that I failed at. I knew that I couldn't mess around. Before I ever went off plan, I wrote down the steps that I would take to get back on track if I ever did eat, did eat off my plan in the future. My plan included texting my support people immediately, praying, deep breathing, hugging my kids who were my deep wife, and committing to seven days back on the plan. A good course correction plan needs to include reaching out for support, mindfulness, and remembering your deep why. To prevent going off plan, some good strategies are that when you're having a strong urge or craving, drink two cups of water and set a timer for 20 minutes to give yourself some space between the urge to eat off plan and the action of eating off plan. So usually by the end of 20 minutes, the craving will have passed and and you'll no longer longer want to eat off plan. Another strategy is bookending. Uh, Texting a support person to let them know how you're feeling and and that you're struggling. Committing to them to stay on your plan and then following, following up with them later to let them know how it went. Journaling can also be really helpful to process emotions and do some self-reflection. Uh, you can write down if-then statements, like I know that my program is in trouble when, fill in the blank, and then make a plan for how to overcome that obstacle before it even happens. There are a lot of strategies to help you. Um, those are just a few. I invite you to make a plan now for how you're going to get back on track when you go off plan and also make a list of some strategies of how you're going to avoid going off plan when you're having a moment of weakness. When I did eventually make a mistake in my program, I was amazed and felt so hopeful because I followed those steps that I'd written down and I got right back on track. It felt so good to not fall into that all or nothing mentality that had sabotaged me so many times before. The difference this time was that I had a plan and I surrounded myself with support. I got right back to the program, the next meal, and I just committed to a week of focus. (laughs) And that is when I knew that this was a lifestyle that would be sustainable for me and that I could do it long term. It's now been 619 days today since I started bright line eating. I don't really count anymore, but <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes in that time. And But I've also had an incredible success and lost 125 pounds and kept it off because I've used my plan to course correct, course correct quickly and I've never given up. Learning from our mistakes and learning from the mistakes of others is the key to success. Do your best to follow the program as it's written and be kind to yourself when you fall short. Don't make it a huge deal in your mind. Just get right back on track and keep going. Don't worry if you aren't perfect. Be unstoppable. Be careful and not casual with your program and never ever give up. You can do this. If I can do it, so can you. I'd love to show you how. If you'd like some help with your program or you have questions about how to make this a sustainable lifestyle, sign up for a free no obligation coaching call. I would love to offer you some free help and support. I also have an incredible one-to-one health coaching program where we work together each week via Zoom and we have the option for daily accountability and I give you personalized guidance, support, and accountability to help you to achieve extraordinary results with your program. I guarantee that my clients will see results and love it, or I give them all of their money back. I have a 30-day unconditional money back guarantee. Having a health coach makes losing weight so much easier, faster, and way more fun, and it can be a great way mentally to commit to changing your life once and for all. If you are interested or if you would like to learn more, 
check out my website at erinhearthealthcoaching.com and sign up for a free coaching call. I look forward to talking with you. I hope that you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.